Hello guys, Lock Picker Mechanic here today with a Master Lock 911. This lock has got a laminated construction with a like PVC or plastic outer layer, a uh, boron alloy shackle with two locking lugs or um, ball bearing mechanisms, and then a five pin core uh, with spools in it. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, so that just clarifies it. To get it open, what we do, we put the key in obviously, give it a big turn and then you can see these two ball bearing uh, so this means it can't be shimmed and it snaps shut this could probably kill a car but yeah um so yeah this lock was recommended well i noticed it on bosnian builds video he made some great videos but sadly not making videos anymore but anyways um basically this shows how good uh lock picker's tension is so yeah let's get on with it pizza number one and enough talking enough talking so I've got one, two, three, four, four, four. Got into a fault set. Now I've got five. Back to Guinea. So I've got one. Got him set. Three. Got him set. Four now because there's counter rotation. Coming back. We'll throw a two. And there we are. We've got it open. As you can see, no, this is a difficult bit, and there we are. We got it open. So, As we look, we have got all standard key pins, one to five, and then we've got these small, short spools, uh, one to five in the driver pins. So key pin standard, driver pins, and to pick pins or spools, as you will. Um, some decent bitting on here, as you can tell by the key pins, and some quite tight tolerances for a master lock. There's no serration marks or anything of the sort there. I'm going to have to invest in a smaller follower. That's why I was struggling with this one. But yeah, I'm sure this has been Lock Pick Mechanic. Let us know what you think about this lock below and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.